remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A man who authorities say on Sunday deliberately crashed his car into another car in Tamascal Valley, located in Southern California, killing three of six teenagers inside, did so because they rang his doorbell and took off. Yeah, authorities say that they were playing this game that they call doorbell ditch, also known as the ding dong ditch. Prosecutors say 42-year-old Anya Rag Chandra faces several murder charges for his role in the crash, which the Riverside County District Attorney's Office said Thursday occurred after the boys played a doorbell ditch prank on him. In a doorbell ditch, a person rings a doorbell and then tries to run away before anyone opens the door. After one of the boys was dared and he rang the doorbell, he hopped into a 2002 Prius and drove off with the other five boys to a nearby home uh, that was about 50 miles southeast of Los Angeles. Now, they didn't make it to the house because Chandra jumped into his 2019 Infiniti Q50 and gave chase. He rammed them, causing the driver to lose control and crash, killing three of the six boys. The dead include Daniel Hawkins, Jacob Ivascu, and Drake Ruiz, all 16-year-old passengers. Prosecutors said that the 18-year-old driver and two other boys, ages 13 and 14, were injured but survived. Chandra is being held without bond because this is a potential death penalty case. <sighs> Unless the kids ring the doorbell for days and nights on, let it slide. I mean, catch up with them if you got to, you know, which I probably would. I ain't going to just let it be just slide. I'm going to catch up with them. Catch up with them. Give them a stern talk to. Let them know you ain't the one. Uh, you know, try to let the message reach their parents. And usually that fixes it. That's how I fixed things when I was growing up. And it's still pretty much effective. Uh, parents just communicating with parents goes a long ways. Neighbors communicating with neighbors go a long ways. Not everybody is uncivilized like some people are today. Chandra, uh, major, major mistake, bro. I can understand the frustration, but don't act like you wasn't a kid that played pranks on grown-ups. We've all been there. We used to throw eggs at cars as they passed by on the street. Now, of course, you can say that could have been dangerous. It could have, but kids just don't really give a lot of thought to danger. You know how it is, man. You know, for all of you out there that are in your late 30s, 40s, 50s, you know, some 60s, y'all know how it go. You know, when we were young, we felt invincible. And then as you get older, you realize the error of your ways, you realize how immature you were acting, how stupid you were, and you just don't, and you realize how, how fragile life is and how easily it can be taken away. And you just kind of like stop doing dumb things, right? You know, it's the old saying when you, when I was a child, I thought as a child, I acted as a child. Of course, I ain't trying to quote for all you Bible thumpers. But along those lines, when I became a, a man, I put away childish things, you know? So that's the, that's the cycle of life. This is a horrible story. Horrible story. Based on the evidence in this case, the response and actions taken by the defendant is gravely disproportionate to the kids ringing a doorbell and running. The driver said, when he rammed us from the side, I was like, 
If anything happens, I love these guys. He described them as a close-knit group of friends who are all a part of him. Here's why that don't make a lot of sense to me. When you are a true friend, you don't put your friends in harm's way. I know hindsight is 2020. I'm just saying, technically, when you are a friend, you think about these type of situations. You have to think, if I do this with my friend, what is the absolute worst thing that might happen? The worst thing that could happen is the guy might come out of the house, follow us, ram my car, and force us into some trees and kill three of us and injure the rest of us. I know some of y'all are saying, well, it could have been worse than that. All of them could have been dead. True. Prank. You know, I'll admit, I'm all for a good prank. You know, a good, healthy, fun prank where nobody gets hurt. Or nobody has the potential to be hurt. But, there are some rules to pranking. And rule number one to pulling any type of prank, never use a Prius as your getaway car. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.